Outdoor t-shirt designs are super popular, especially when you've been to a national park or on a hike somewhere amazing. It's always a good idea to grab one. Everyone seems to have one. So in this video, we're teaching you how to make your own outdoor style t-shirt. So if you don't have Kittle yet, go ahead and sign up using that link down in the description. Then you can follow along with this tutorial. So go ahead and once that's done, let's dive right in. All right, let's get started by changing our artboard size. And we're gonna go with this poster size here, which is gonna pretty much take care of uh, any of the specifications you'll probably need for your printers again just take a look at what you need for what kind of print on demand or maybe you're doing somewhere local just take a look at what they need size wise so let's get started by changing our color I'm going to use this kind of like military desert green and then I'm going to add some text over here from the left panel and we're going to go with wild and then we're going to use the word adventures for our big text now you can duplicate text easily and quickly by holding the alter option key and drag and that should be okay for both Mac and Windows OS so now we're going to change our font. We're going to use this adventure set that we actually have. We have a bunch of adventure style fonts already here in Kittle. And what's really cool is we have some glyphs we could use. So if I go over here to the glyphs panel, a little A plus, I can type in S boom. I think that S looks really cool and is a nice way to cap the end there uh, against the A that's on the left. Now with the wild, we're also going to do something a little bit different. Now we have some of these adventure script style fonts i really like this one so let's size that up a little bit and this is uh, just a good technique for mixing font styles and the adventure font selection is a good way to do that because we have so many that already play really nicely together so once you're feeling pretty good about this and again this is just one way to do it of course you're going to do your own kind of adventure style t-shirt um, we're going to do just a little bit of fine tweaking and then start framing this out to make sure we follow that tall frame uh, that tall frame tip now i'm going to hit this distort button here because again with framing i want to have a little illustration in the bottom area there now i'm going to take the top parts of these little nodes these little anchor points and i'm gonna i'm gonna put them up just ever so slightly not a ton uh, but i want it to be you know i want it to kind of make sense with this slight kind of pillow arc type deal here uh, and so now i've got that curve there amongst the bottom and it's going to frame my illustrations nicely so uh, speaking of framing let's go ahead and frame the top up here now in illustrations we have this outdoor pictograms area and we just have so much stuff but I think I like this arrow now I've clicked it it's been added uh, and so I think the arrow is gonna look really cool on the left and right of the word wild and that again kind of completes that shape it kind of fills out this box or this top rectangle that we have right now but you'll see as we keep going down we're gonna be filling this rectangle we're gonna be filling the tall rectangle again shout out to detour shirts uh, that's one of his uh, amazing tips for us is to make sure we fill out the tall rectangle and so we're gonna do just that with this outdoor shirt now let's change this to a lighter tan then we're gonna change the rest of our our text here to this kind of off-white cream uh, super light tan because I think that looks really cool amongst that background uh, kind of green army color now we're going to add a bear we're gonna be in the mountains for this style of shirt well I guess technically we're making kind of a national shirt style themed a uh, park a national park themed shirt but of course we're gonna have a bear and we're gonna have some mountains and some shirts now there's just so much here that you could use and so what I'm gonna do is kinda speed up through uh, me taking a look and deciding what kind of elements I want and basically I just picked a bunch of different kind of trees because I want to build this kind of skyline in the back of just trees so once I feel like I've got that uh, good to go I'm gonna bring my bear to the front here then I can go over to layers and I can double click in to label that as bear because you don't want to lose any of your layers and I actually want to lock him because I'm gonna be dragging and moving stuff around I don't want to move the bear so you can lock that bear and then I can start getting ready to create my little landscape here in the back my land landscape skyline or, or whatever you kind of <laughs> want to call it uh, over here back in the horizon now with these fill colors we don't really need the fill colors here because we want the 
uh, shirt color to fill that in. So I can hit this little dash here, the little no fill button, and it's going to take away these extra colors. It's also going to give your printer a lot easier time. It's going to probably cost you less money, uh, and that way we have a nice little skyline here in the back, this little horizon. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the trees. I'm going to speed up through this process. I'm going to add this to that horizon there in the back with the mountains. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this outdoor t-shirt tutorial, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and that red subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming tutorials. And then let me know in the comments, have you been on a hike somewhere awesome recently? Did you go to a national park? Or maybe you have an awesome little trail where you live. I just got back from Scotland at this current time and it was awesome man it was just amazing uh, to be in the middle of the mountains and I did so much hiking I didn't buy a shirt unfortunately but maybe I'll make one with Kittle so let me know if you've been somewhere on a hike recently I would love to hear it and let's get back to the tutorial and I'm just formatting trees together to to make it look more complete again filling that rectangle I can't preach that enough we want to make sure we fill the space of our shirt Again, so we make it really entertaining for people to see. And, and we can group those together, by the way, a right click and group. And then we can also flip them with that right click menu. All you got to do is tap the right click on your mouse. Uh, now, I'm going to do a little bit of shifting here because I don't want ex I don't want them to exactly be the same. It's very rare that you're going to be looking uh, at a skyline or a mountain view and the left and the right trees are perfectly symmetric now I guess it can happen uh, but that's not what we're gonna do here we're gonna just do a little bit of tweaking to make sure it kinda makes sense um, we're gonna move our little bear here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over into the elements and we're gonna create a little sun with some rays here in the back I like this one because it's rugged it really goes with the adventure font that we've got up there it goes with the kind of hatched uh, rugged looking bear that's there again with these rays I really like that as well so we're gonna put these together uh, size it down a little bit and then what we can do is we can right click and we can send that to the back because we don't want that over top of our text we can make that the same color and then boom we've got this little uh, ray of sunshine coming up over the mountains I think that's really cool how that's framed in the middle of the mountains there now let's do some cloud work we're gonna type in clouds and we've got a bunch of different kinds including these little kind of wavy uh, kind of bleed looking clouds now I can start formatting these, I can put them in the back and I can change them to the correct color. And so I'll probably speed up through this process for you as well because you kind of get the idea. We're just looking for different shapes of these clouds to be to make a nice little layout here with clouds. And now what we can do that's pretty cool here is we can actually use the clouds to make some shadow under the bear. We can also kind of make it look like a river or maybe something else. And we can add some other visual interests like some birds here, just some things that fill the space, but also really create the scene. Now with some grass here, I think that would be cool. Uh, but be careful in an area like this because we're covering up the paws. So if we click the bear, we unlock him and we bring him to the front. Now he's in front of this grass. Now you can see a little bit more of that detail. And of course, we can uh, add all of these together. We can group them with Command G, Command or Control G. I can label that bear. And now, so this little shadow and the grass along with the bear there is all one group. And so you don't have to worry about that. You can also lock that if you want to make sure that you don't mess with it or accidentally move it. Now we're going to add some text here on the bottom we're going to double click in and this is going to be the gates of the arctic and this is our little national park theme that we're creating here of course we want to change the color and we also want to change the font to another one of those adventure fonts that works really well together now we've got national park now we have a nice little hierarchy here together and we're going to add a couple of little visual interests just to frame the bottom kind of like we did at the top there with the arrows we've got this kind of rope i know it kind of looks like a snake which is also cool it still works but it's more of like a uh, more of like a little rope texture there so let's change this color to make sure everything is working together uh, we'll do the same on the other side and now we're going to make a little bit of it of filler text here on the left and right we've got ESTD and we also got uh, USA made over there on the right uh, and so now we're going to add a little bit more visual interest here on the left and right 
of our design. And so we've added a little flag and a little compass, both really cool rugged, rugged textured illustrations. We're going to duplicate some text and we're going to write Rome the Unknown here, space that out. We'll put that underneath the compass. We'll duplicate it, put it over here, stay wild, stay free. Again, just a couple of things that fill out our rectangle. So we've continued to do that. Now we're going to tweak our colors a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of a visual interest there on the bottom. Again, to complete that frame, add a little bit of highlights to the back of that lettering. And so now we've got our completed design right here. And so you can go through uh, and mess with the background here. You can turn it off to see what it would look like on a shirt. Of course, you could just go up here and change the color. Maybe you want to see what it's like on a lighter color shirt or a darker color shirt. You could really go through and preview that. Or you can go up here in the down download settings right here and you can hit remove background it will take off that back color for you so that you're ready for your printer specifications so here is our completed adventure t-shirt outdoor design made completely in kittle mocked up for you to see and ready to go well that's all i hope you had a ton of fun i can't wait to see your outdoor t-shirts so don't forget to tag us on social you can find those links down in the description of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos we greatly appreciate it check out these videos to my right if you want to learn some more things or until next time create magic